and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to draw a Georgian window uh, a sash window in this case so first I'm going to draw a rectangular frame with proportion roughly that roughly equals to 1 to 2 or 2 to 1 so this is going to be the outer frame the inner frame where the actual timber window will sit will be here so it's gonna have like a small ledge on the bottom of it and incomplete pediment on top so the pediment would be a sort of triangular thing on the bot on the top of this element here but I'm not gonna draw that because it's not uh, it's not that common in Georgian style to have that on top. This is all sort of like um, a stone painted white. Inside there is going to be a timber frame. But before that I'm going to draw bricks roughly like so. I'm going to try to make them equal on every side of the window. These lines don't have to be perfectly aligned, but it would be nice to have them e kind of um, similarly spaced and also every side relating to one another to make it feel more realistic. Now I'm going to draw what I think is called Flemish Bond where you have a smaller brick face alter alterating with the longest one like so and then the next line begins with smaller brick face in the middle underneath the larger face probably easier to set a guideline like this so you have a straight line down kind of one brick roughly one brick thickness try not to rush too much with this because otherwise it's not going to look so pretty I mean you don't have to be very precise about these things but if you rush too much, like I think I have done already, uh, these bricks are going to kind of be a bit squint, not right proportion. So I'll try to avoid that, but because it's a sketch, I don't think it matters too much how they look like. Just whether the idea of brick being there is conveyed or not, so then I'll have to be like 100% accurate. The way they look because again all we do we just we're gonna focus more on the actual frame rather than windows so that's kind of gives it a background to sit on and the next part is that um, we have to draw the actual window inside now this works like that you have the window middle would be here it's a sash window meaning it opens upward there is a fixed frame to it which I'm drawing at the moment so this frame doesn't move this is the top part which doesn't move it goes down like that there is a small detail and usually kind of chamfers like so goes down and this one actually overlaps on top these two f this is now frame behind this one and it goes down sometimes if it's a bit up thicker from you know this distance is thicker than this distance because this I, I guess is protecting the 
the inside of the frame from the rain so this frame here it moves up um, and then it's divided into three parts horizontally so I'm just gonna indicate those breaks and just roughly sketch them out and then in two parts horizontally now these would have some thickness as well at this point you can start if you put the thickness of these lines don't sort of complete these lines just leave them kind of hanging incomplete and then use the the thicker line on the bottom to indicate the thickness same goes here like that so imagine that the shine, sun is shining from this side here um, so do, I'll do that for the rest of these as well and also for the outer frame you can do this thicker line and for the elements as well now I'm also going to add more detail to the uh, kind of outer frame of the window again focusing on having thicker lines on the side where the sun hits the window Okay, and if maybe one more line closer to the actual frame. Again, focusing on those lines being thinner where the sun hits the building and the window, obviously. Now at this point, you what you might want to do is to add like a shadow try not to go overboard with the thickness of those shadows because the the thickest part would be obviously where the window is the thickest in this case it's going to be on this side where the window hits the wall so i'm just going to draw like a small guideline also for this I'm just going to assume that the sun is hitting the window 45 degree angle so hence those guidelines on these edges are 45 degrees and just quickly hatch this in like so again not worrying about how correct or accurate these hatches are just sort of quickly hatching them in And then also inside. Now this shadow, because this window plane is closer to this frame here, and this is set back, kind of behind this one, uh, the shadow here is going to be thicker. Uh, but this difference between this and this is about the same as this difference between this plane and this plane So the shadow here is going to be the same as here Or vice versa And then this distance here between here is very small so I'm gonna put a very small shadow here And you'll see how this effect I'm Gonna bring this window closer to life, you're going to get much greater sense of depth about it. So that's what's happening with the shadow. The other thing is obviously the 
reflection in the window now. Let's imagine there's a tree in front of us and tree is kind of round, big shape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw kind of random shapes like that and just hatch them in in a similar way to shadows avoiding window frames leaving them white ish and maybe putting more accent on that wall and you can go ahead and make a second pass for the shadow making a bit darker so you kind of differentiate between the shadow and the reflection and again just kind of going making a second pass through all the places you think there should be a greater accent And you also can actually color inside a little bit just to bring that frame forward. And that's it, that's how you sketch a sash Georgian window. Thank you very much for watching.